Welcome back friends. Today's DIY project is changing the oil on our Itasca Sun Cruiser Class A motor coach. We've got a Ford Triton V10 engine in here running on gasoline and the factory recommends we do that every 5,000 miles. It's about time. They also recommend you run 5W20 weight oil in this and a full synthetic oil is what you want to run to. Prices have come down so much in this stuff that there's no reason not to run synthetic. You're also going to need an oil filter. That cost us $3.77. Our oil for six quarts, which is what this holds, is a $22.88 for that five quart jug you see there, plus another $7 for the sixth quart. Now talking about price, Walmart is the cheapest place you can buy this stuff. For instance, that was $22.88 for the five quart jug versus $36.99 at Pet Boys. So that's a huge amount of money. The oil filter cost $3.77, so the total cost of our oil and filter to do this job is $35. Bucks. It's gonna take about 30 minutes too. Now, you can't just run one of these up to Jiffy Lube because in most cases it's not gonna fit you know, in the engine bay. So your choices are running it to the Ford house or a big truck shop or an RV place. And just for grins, I called up the local RV place and asked them what an oil change cost. And they said $125. So it's a lot better to do this yourself. You can save a lot of money. Plus it's just a lot more convenient for it to do so. You don't need a lot of specialty tools here. You will need an oil filter wrench. You will need a 5 8 wrench or socket for the drain plug on the oil pan. I'm going to use two different oil drain pans over there. Just make sure you have one that's going to be capable of holding seven, uh, six or seven quarts of oil. You don't want that running all over the place. Make sure you have some shop towels, some eye protection because while you're under there, you don't want the oil splattering up in your face and getting in your eyes and stuff. And I'm going to use some gloves too. I've got a little funnel with the hose rigged up on it. Uh, the way this engine is positioned in this frame and the way the hood comes up, uh, it's hard for me to pour oil in there if I'm not pouring it one quart at a time. So I've just kind of rigged up something here to, to pour it in with. Next thing we're going to do is going to crank up the coach and let it run for a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. Just get the oil kind of warm, circulating in there. You don't want the engine to get hot. You don't want to be in there uh, up underneath there working on a hot engine. But it'll warm it up enough to where that oil is going to drain pretty quick. So let's go ahead and crank it up, let it run a little bit, and then we're going to jump under there and get to work. Now that we've got the engine warmed up, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna locate the oil filler cap, which is here. I'm gonna take it off. That way it will allow the engine to have some ventilation from the top and it'll help that oil drain faster out through the bottom. Now that we're up underneath the coach, let's locate the oil pan. That's gonna be right here. This is the front of the engine. We're gonna go back to the rear of the engine and you're gonna see our drain plug which is right there. Now that's the good news. The bad news is it's right over the axle. So that's gonna create maybe a little bit of a mess as far as drain goes, but we've got some extra cardboard under here so we don't get everything all over the concrete. So let's go ahead and loosen that up and get it to drain it. That is just not going, Mark. Real easy. Right before you get it, you feel like it's ready to come out. Go ahead and have your drain pan ready because it may go where you don't think it's going. And here we go. Okay, we caught that pretty good. Set our drain pan off, our drain plug off to the side. And we're going to let that drain for a bit. Then we're going to go on to the oil filter, which is our next stop. Okay, we've let our oil drain for about five minutes. Pretty much got everything out of the oil pan. We're just now letting this drip off the axle. Not in any big hurry. So now I've cleaned off the old drain plug. We're going to go ahead and put it back in and we're going to tighten it up. If you have a torque wrench, tighten it up to manufacturer specs. If you don't, 
just get your wrench and get it pretty tight but just remember don't gorilla arm this thing on here because if you strip this out you are not going to like it yes it can be fixed but it's not going to be a whole lot of fun to do okay got it about right now let's wipe off this axle and move this drain pan and then we're going to go over to the old filter okay just about a foot to the left of your drain plug is going to be your oil filter it's going to be right here make sure you get your oil pan ready your oil drain pan i should say and some rags get a wrench on here sometimes these things are really tight this one was about right once you get to where you can do it with your hand get your wrench out of the way get your drain pan ready and this thing's gonna be full of oil some may leak down on you some may not but what we want to do is lift it straight down and on the pan yeah here comes the oil just unscrews counterclockwise just remember lefty loosey righty tighty and there it is gonna let that drain that's the messiest part of the whole thing so we'll come back here in a minute when that's all drained out and I'll show you how to install your brand new one okay we've got that drain pretty good make sure there's no dirt around there then what I like to do is take my new filter and fill it up with oil and then a real important step on your new filter and I guess I should have showed you this before I put oil in it but there's a rubber seal right there and you want to make sure you get some oil on that seal because when you screw this back up onto the engine if you don't you're going to have that rubber right against that metal and it's going to be quite the project to get off well, you know what it looks like we have a seal stuck on there I want to get that off first make sure there's not a seal see like that one there we go aren't sure don't want to have rubber to rubber you just spin that thing on get it hand tight and then I give it just about an eighth turn or maybe a quarter with the wrench and you should be good to go now all we have left to do is clean this mess up down here where it was draining and we'll get to work up top okay we're back up top now and this is our our cap we took off a while ago so it would vent so it would drain a lot quicker this is where we're going to refill our oil here we're going to put six quarts in and like i said i really don't have any room here to maneuver with especially the, the five quart jug and even a one quart jug it's kind of hard so i rigged up a funnel and a hose and we're gonna put that in like that and i'm gonna start putting the oil in and then we're gonna check the level make sure everything is copacetic okay now we're over here on the driver's side of the engine located the oil dipstick which is going to be right there we let the engine run for about 30 seconds i checked the gauge in the cockpit there make sure that the oil pressure came up and it did so now what we want to do is make sure that we had the proper amount of oil in there take it out wipe it off and run it back in there again a long dipstick so just be patient Make sure you get it fully seated past that O-ring. We're gonna take it out and look at it. 
and it should be between these two marks right there those two little uh, circles and it is oh look at that nice clean mobile one in there man that is a happy motor I can tell you and it'll take care of you if you'll take care of it and hey while you're laying up underneath there letting that oil drain or something take a flashlight with you look around see if you see anything strange I just happened to do that last year and I found a broken shock so uh Kind of familiarize yourself with what's going on underneath your coach so there you have it for 35 bucks there's no reason for you not to do this take about 30 minutes of your time i will ask you to do one thing for me though and be kind to the planet take that old oil that you drained out put it right back in those jugs that you poured the new stuff out of and run it up to your local recycler or most auto supplies will even take that too so that's all you got to do so we only have one other thing to do finish up with our project how about cold beer i think we'll do it so until next time you guys be safe and we hope to see you out on the road adios